Science of a War is obviously a, a horrific war that divides the country, but it's also a really fascinating one to study in terms of firearms technology. At the beginning of the American Civil War, the primary infantryman's weapon was a muzzle-loading, single-shot, percussion cap musket. Pretty much everybody is still using uh, separate loading, ball, powder, cap. Uh, some of the guns are rifled, some of them are still smoothbore muskets. Accurate for a percussion cap, single-shot musket, but it inherently has some weaknesses in it. Primarily, it's a percussion cap, single-shot, muzzle-loading musket. Right? You can't reload it very quickly. It was a very simple, very crude weapon at the time, but it was a time when there was many, many more advanced options available for a military weapon. You've got a lot of guys out there that are already manufacturing for the civilian market, uh, you know, breech loaders. And these guys, you know, already have the tooling made up to manufacture these things in numbers. And yet um, the generals, the uh, bureaucracy, if you will, of the military was not flexible enough all the time to see those new opportunities and, you know, absorb them into the military. So you had uh, James Wolfe Ripley, Chief of Ordnance of the United States Army, and he was dedicated to the muzzle-loading rifle musket for infantry. And the fascinating part of the war is that you start getting effective repeaters. There was a gun that uh, a long gun that came up during the Civil War that uh, was an entire generational, two-generational leap forward. That was the Spencer. Christian Spencer was one of the legendary inventors of America's dawning industrial age. And he invented a lot, including an automatic silk winding machine, sewing machine parts, and his own steam-powered buggy it was so loud, the neighbors insisted he stop using it on public streets. To watch this entire episode on Outdoor Channel, contact your TV provider today.